Now, Health Matters, brought to you by St. Michael's Emergency Rooms. One of the more common reasons we see people in the emergency room are for scrapes, cuts, and puncture wounds. He was going after a ball on the fence, and the fence broke, and he fell onto some broken wood on the ground. Anytime a laceration occurs, the best thing to do is to clean the wound appropriately and apply pressure to stop the bleeding. Okay, Trey, I want you to tell me if you feel any of this. Is any of this hurt? Wounds that have a tendency to bleed or go deeper into the tissue will usually require suturing to repair the wound. Depending on the area and size of the wound will determine whether we use sutures or we use glue. Some wounds that are located on the face or very small can sometimes be closed with just simple glue. How many stitches? So far, three deep ones have been put in. Keep your stitches in for the recommended amount of time. It's a good idea to be reevaluated in a couple of days to make sure there's no signs of infection and that the wound is healing properly. Oh, you were such a big boy. To reduce the risk of scarring, one should cover the wounds appropriately and to keep it from being exposed to the sun. You're awesome. It's best to err on the side of safety. To whether or not a wound should be closed or not, leave it up to the experts. From St. Michael's Emergency Rooms, I'm Dr. Shannon Orsack.